year had passed since her sister had been taken away from her, and in all that time, even had never dreamed like that before. Even knew she was now awake, and knew this was the same house she'd lived in her entire life, but something seemed off. Something seemed different, or was it simply that she had changed? The scariest painting Evan's mother had ever made was of the Shadow Man, a mysterious figure who got same stuffed animal she'd given Odd on the night she was taken. Even knew her parents would be heartbroken when they woke and found her missing. But she had to go. She had to know. That glowing figure seemed to keep its distance from even. When she got closer, it moved further away. It was leading her somewhere. Oof. Easy there, even. What are you doing out so darn late? You're running like the old witch Uma put a curse on you. Oh, darling. You're trying to find your sister, aren't you? I'm afraid the past is the past, child. Well, that's certainly a new tone from your tongue, even. But ah, I remember being your age once, and I remember feeling like you. Tell you what, I'll get out of your way. But if you should run into any troubles, you just leave my name out of the story you tell your parents, deal? I miss your sister too, even. But you don't see me treating others like garbage because of it. Wait up! Please! Wait up! This was Onecroft, the world in which even and her small family live. Like all Warners, they hauled junk for the cargo ships that came and went in the night. All this labor was done for reasons that were never clearly understood. The Queen willed it, 
and no one would dare oppose her. And that was enough for everyone. Everyone, that is, except even. Come on, Burn, just hit it. It's right there. He's trying, Lucky. Oh, whoa. Not bad, even. I knew you could do it. Lucky shot. <laughs> I'm not impressed. I could do that too if I wanted. No problem. That was amazing, even. Hey, shut up. <laughs> saw it, didn't you? There it was again. Uh, come on! Well, whatever that spirit wanted, it seemed to involve bringing even here. But why? Random rules, even. Random rules. Big city life. Oh, it must be so glamorous to be so cosmopolitan. So two-sided. figure even knew that her fate was changing that her future was suddenly filled with unknowns and she also had the distinct feeling that she wouldn't be back home for quite some time Even could barely make out what the ghostly figure was. It was beautiful, inscrutable, and there seemed to be a sorrow to her. There was no time to think. Even was either going home to her parents without answers and with even more questions than before. Or she was getting on that boat. She felt a pull, beckoning towards something new. Oh, those are some nice cards you have there, kiddo. You find them yourself? Suit yourself, Missy. I ain't gonna force you into doing anything you don't want to. Oh, but before you go, a word of warning. Be careful out there, Missy. Tonight's the night the junk collectors come. His boat's here, 
the guards over there don't let nobody close. The harbor's hiding secrets tonight, Missy. Ain't nobody safe when the Queen's on the throne. This is safe travels. No, no, no. You don't get to come here. This is my reserve spot. You get your own. Now, go away. What do you think I'm doing here? We're all trying to hide, kid. Now leave. This is Herman's hidey hole. My little stowaway chamber. My realm of adlubescence that you're not invited in. It's my ticket out of this muddy town. It means something that's delightful, like my room here. I, I... Wow. You really are just a kid, huh? Well, well, guess what? I myself was a kid once. Kid Herman. And now I'm adult Herman, and I'm getting out of here. Now go find your own spot. There are no... Oh, come on! There's gotta be other spots. Go find them. Oh, for the love of... Fine. Fine. You little... Little guilt tripper. I'll let you in. Oh, but before I do, we got ourselves some house rules. One, be quiet. Two, don't touch anything. And three... Be quiet and don't touch anything. Now, don't make me regret this, kid. I'm stowing away on a quest, see? And if the crew here gets wind of it, both our gooses will be cooked. So just sit here all quiet like and don't do anything. Shh, sh quiet, kid. I can't believe it. You're already breaking rules one and three. Yeah, look, I'll tell you what. Just hide between those boxes and don't make any noise. You want to know about me? Here's a deal. I'm off to find Miss Hudson, see? I made it for the cardmaker district to... Uh, Five Tropolis, or whatever the Queen's calling it these days. And... 
quiet, kid, or he'll ruin the whole thing. Just, just, just go to sleep, kid. I'll wake you when we're there. Well, the moment she'd let herself think about it, even realized she was actually exhausted. Tonight alone, she'd seen a ghost run away from home and boarded a ship traveling somewhere deep into the unknown heart of Random. Would she ever return? It didn't matter. Odd was the only thing that mattered. With her sister's name on her lips, even fell into a deep slumber. Right? They never... I, I don't think they... They were denying you your future. Robbing you of your true destiny. You're finally home. sight of Herman, she realized she'd also lost sight of her last connection to home. Okay, still alive. Uh, I can work with that. As long as I don't land on water, I should be able to work with that. Uh, find time to remember I don't know how to speak. She hoped desperately that she'd land somewhere near Sixtown, but the wind and the fates had very different plans for her indeed. This place. 